Well, today it's the uh, launch of the 25th annual Mental Health Awareness Weeks, um, which is a, a Nottingham-based initiative where we celebrate uh, mental health, try to reduce stigma and try to promote positive mental health. When you walk into that sports hall, you see an absolute plethora of different uh, events, different uh, stalls out there. Just give us a taste of what's out there. So today we've got people from all sorts of backgrounds. We've got poetry workshops, we've got Indian music workshops, we have um, people who uh, specialise in talking therapies, um, people from self-help groups. So the idea is to bring the whole mental health community together so that people can find out what's going on in Nottingham and uh, try and support each other. Well, I've been here about um, 18 months now. Um, I come with a mental health background, so I'm involved with the mental health projects and provide some kind of more specialist mental health support to those projects, to the development of those projects and to the ongoing operation of them. So part of my role is providing some support to the participants who might need that support, but also supporting the coaches in the delivery of the projects, really. As somebody who clearly knows a lot about mental health, how uh, important is it, do you think, that organisations like FITC treat the issues surrounding it so seriously? Well, I think it's fundamental, it's really important. I mean, mental health is, as over the years, people have started to recognise mental health much more. So awareness of mental health has, has grown. But there's still groups and communities that are quite difficult to reach. And Notts County Football in the community and using the Notts County badge provides an inroad to engaging with some people around talking about mental health issues, um, dispelling the stigma that's attached to mental health. And that's really important so that people can come, can seek help and get the support that they need. Uh, I met Ian, Ian Richardson, I didn't know he used to be, he used to be a manager in and stuff, but he's doing some great work here, like to raise awareness but also help people. I think I've met a couple of people now, I've just played badminton for a little bit there with a few lads and they're just doing good stuff, so it's, it's, all, um, it's all really good, yeah. You're keen to speak out about these sort of issues, aren't you? We heard you on TalkSport, fantastic interview there. What is it that, that makes you want to actually be on the front foot with things like this rather than just trying to forget about you know, the issues you experienced? Um, I just think before I suffered, you know, I, I was 23 and never had a care in the world before and then all of a sudden you know, I, I've got a mental health issue which before and I'd never known anything about really. I'd, I'd, you know, most people have heard of depression. I don't think they've heard of much else, and he, and he brushed that under the carpet a little bit, and, and I just realised that, you know, when I went through it, a lot of people, you don't realise how hard it is what to come out the other end. I think I just want to make people realise that you can, you can go through it and struggle for two, three, four, five years, whatever it might be, and you still be happy and, you know, not have to go to the extremes that I nearly went to, and, and it's just massive for me to, to help other people now, really, and in every aspect. You know, most, mostly for me it is the one I struggle with because I think a lot of people struggle with it without knowing. But just, just doing my bit really to help, you know, as much as I can and come to a place like this and show, you know, and just make, make someone smile if they can do that, then that'll make me happy. Following your radio interview, which went pretty much viral really in terms of mental health sort of content on the day, um, a lot of people coming out and saying thank you for speaking out, thank you for having the courage to do that, you've made me feel better or you've made me feel in a position where I can talk about it myself. Is, is that what pleases you the most, do you think? Obviously you acknowledge that people are going through some really tough times, but by you speaking on that radio show, you've potentially made a huge amount of difference to a lot of people. Yeah, honestly, it, it's massive, like I said to you, because when I was going through it, I, I hadn't really heard of anyone who, obviously I've heard people who struggled and, and every time I, I read a story about someone else it made me feel a little bit better. I think the, the hardest thing is for other people to be able to speak out about it because it's very embarrassing. When, when you're in it it's very embarrassing before you realise what it is and you learn about it. But yeah that's why I'm doing it more than, more than anything because you know it could potentially save a life so. But yeah that's you know I, I came out quite a while ago but only through my own Facebook and stuff and just since that I had people, you know, countless people saying they wanted to meet me just to speak, you know, confidentially and, and just have a chat about what they were going through and they said like, you know, by me coming out and doing that, that, that they'd, you know, felt a lot better and, and that's literally probably the most important thing for me out of it all and just helping people now as much as I can. And is this something 
that you want to take on more do you think as you, yeah, as yeah. you, as you maybe get older a bit more yeah. experience and something you want to get involved in more yeah because I'm quite passionate about it and I think it's it's something that I believe anyway only in the last three to five years that there's been real development made on it and, and like I said on the radio World Mental Health Day four years ago you know whether it's that because my eyes weren't open to it or not but I didn't see anything of that on my timeline on Facebook Instagram Twitter whatever it might be I didn't see anything on it and now every single person on my social media was, was like, or you know trying to help raise awareness on it and I think that's something that we've come to a time now where we're, we're making great steps and you know by five years time hopefully it can be seen as so big and not not a big deal and everyone suffers at some point in their life so why not how much does it how much does it mean to you that the football and the community department of the club that you play for takes this so seriously and has events like this yeah it's massive especially I think people don't realize what difference a football football can make just just by it being to do with a football club it's it's made a lot more interesting people want to be involved in it more and for me when I was at, at Crew maybe and, and Shrewsbury I didn't see anything like this happening and, and you know no disrespect to them two, two clubs but since I've come here I got told when I came it was one of the best clubs for this and um, yeah it's massive I think the more we can do the better.